All right, hello. Um, you, I mean, it was inevitable that I'd do this video. I mentioned that something would probably happen on the 23rd um, of September. And something did. And it's actually reasonably significant, I think. Well, I mean, the, the title of the video says it all. Um, so the one victim, of course, was um, Olivia King. Yeah, and that's why I did that title. I don't know if that's in bad taste or not, but um, Olive King, right? You know, I mean, I, I, I don't know what to say about it, to tell you the truth. You know, and then we had the, and the King Supers that links to this in um, Colorado, right? I'm going to show you just some stuff that I see. I'm not really going to go through the numbers. There's some interesting numbers. The guy was... The perpetrator was 29 years old. Um, that's a good reference to the um, 11 and 18. Um, and as I mentioned in my chart, you know, that 11 and 18 sums to 29, you know, so and also the individual components of that sum to 2 and 9. So it's a good reference to that whole thing. Um, I'm going to show you something interesting about the perpetrator as well before I forget. I was actually watching, which one was it on? Was it on this one? No, not Golden Eye. Come on down, wake up. Um, this, this right here, right? I've got closed captioning on. Now, whether somebody's typed this in or whether this is just auto um, closed captioning, but the guy's name is Uk, -ta Uk Tang, I think is probably how you say it, Uk Tang. Um, but for some reason, auto closed captioning or whoever's typed it in uh, we've got who tank here <laughs> I mean this is the kind of stuff that I see you know who tank I mean this is what we're stuck in um, we're stuck in the body of water behind the Hoover Dam would be the who tank and just fancy that coming up like that on this video. I mean, this is the kind of crazy stuff um, that I see. I don't know what to, what else to say about it. But I just thought it was interesting. Other interesting things. Um, Collierville. Yeah. The column. The column is the... Well, we've had the other events with the columns falling down. The column is the neck, is that you know, is the thing that attaches your head on, um, and the column. There happens to be four of them, on the. Um, the reference that I use for the for the dam, which is. The courthouse, right, and Back to the Future. This is a representation of the dam or the control system, the matrix, the moon. And we've got the four columns again, right? And so I'm going to make a link um, because when we're talking about Memphis, right, with the with Collierville, we've got a link to Memphis, to Egypt, and to the column. And the column that pops up, no pun intended, because this is, of course, there is the, the, the phallic type symbolism that goes along with this as well, but um, it's the Dejed or the Jed pillar, right? I, I la This time last year I was talking about this. Um, and again, you've got four, it's almost four separate pillars in one. Okay, you've got this kind of, so there's a better picture of it down here as well, which also looks like a um, the hieroglyph, if you, know, if you can make it out. Um, it looks like the um, an electrical insulator mm -hmm. right there but you've got kind of these four pillars in one yeah the same as you've got the four pillars at the front of the the courthouse and I'm not going to go through this this whole thing with the Dejeb pillar but it's to do with Iris, Osiris and um, the resurrection of Osiris or you know and that kind of that kind of um, that kind of thing you know it's also representation uh, the the resurrection is also to do with um, the growth of a tree as well and the formation of this and the 
tree being chopped down to make this column, you know. So you've got that idea in um, Back to the Future where he's like shouting, You killed my pine! <laughs> Whereas Marty's trying to escape from the, um, what the hell's his name? Peabody. Old man Peabody. So, you know, and the Peabody is the, <laughs> the Peabody. That is the uh, phallic symbol again, yeah. So, anyway, um, right about that, so right about this time now, we've got a thing going on in Egypt, um, and I'm going to jump backwards and forwards between this Kroger thing and Egypt now. But we've got a thing going on um, called, gosh darn it, I wonder if I press back. We've got the iPet, look, here it is, right down here, right now. I'll, I'll click back to it in a minute, but the Festival of Opet, right, which is also known as iPet as well, yeah, so you've got this link to the, the iPet Go 2 thing, and in that Jesus is on a, um, what they would call a bark, um, floating down, floating on water, and, um, He's on that bark, and when this this festival is all to do with this Opet Ipet festival is all to do with rejuvenation of both the king, the pharaoh, and God as well. So it it kind of ties in with the whole resurrection thing. It's almost like the resurrection of the the pharaoh and and God. So. We've got this whole thing going on, and usually what they do is they float that bark down the down the river to Luxor. I think it's Luxor, and they do a a. I guess they go and have some time alone, the king and the and the um, the queen. <laughs> they have some time alone and uh, rejuvenate everything. Let's put it that way. But anyway. Oh yeah, look, Karnak is the is the place, um, and that's yeah, Karnak to Luxor. Okay, so it's interesting that this festival is going on right about um, around the date of the 18th. It would be going on, yeah, the 18th of October. This date that I've been, you know, I've kind of been focusing in on as of late. So, what do, I, what do I really want to say about it? So, we've got these links, right? So, you might say, well, that's a bit of a, a weak link. But, you know, if we look at a map of Egypt, right? Here's Luxor up here. And then we've got the Aswan Dam. And so, this is Lake Nasa that feeds the Nile. And so, this would be the, the mountains up here. And that feeds the Nile. That runs down through... From through Luxor all the way down, blah 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 blah, down to G this would be Memphis down here, around Giza and Cairo. Um, and the other thing, the other interesting thing we had that happened um, with the other with the King Supers um, shooting was, I think it was the next day, we had the Suez Canal block blockage as well. Yeah, so we had this whole thing going on down this end of the Nile, which would be the Fertile Crescent right here. Okay, the Fertile Crescent, again, this is this would be the womb. This would be the place where you're the, where we're stuck. Okay. And so what's what's really got to happen, well, I guess the other place that we'd be stuck is up here as well. <laughs> In Lake Nasa. Um depending on the way you want to look at it, yeah. Uh, this whole thing, this dam, is the thing that displaces people, it um, changes the natural cycles of the river, so it's a, a man-made obstruction, yeah, and you know, when you're stuck behind that dam, you're damned, basically, I mean, I don't know how else to say it, but that's, that's basically what's going on there, you know, if you're stuck behind the dam, you're damned, right, so we had, so we have, 
the um, the King Supers reference here. Then we have Memphis back to the Kroger standard Kroger, the one that's just happened shooting, and then we had the other um, King Supers. Sorry, I might have said that around the wrong way a minute ago. And then we have the King Supers deal, which would be in the at the source at the mountains, yeah, and that's where you'd be stuck. Um, I guess really where you want to get to. well I mean it's the symbolism is it's very similar symbolism um, I mean that's really where you want to be is the fertile crescent but you've got to be you know again you've got to be balanced you know this is where people want to get to <sighs> and you know it's difficult to get to that area and um not be tempted let's put it that way um anyway what do i want to say about this this map as well let's go to a map of um do i have it up yeah colorado because i couldn't really you know this is the mountains up you know this would be the the rocky mountains of course the rock that we're all stuck behind is the the dam or Again, another reference to the rocks, the Rocky Mountain is that is the tomb is the the thing that's blocking us in the tomb. So the the color red, the Colorado, the Red River, the red blood's got to start flowing again, um, and that means removing the the obstruction in in the pathway, yeah, removing the the Hoover Dam out of the way. That will be the ritual if uh, something happens but i couldn't really there's no real link other than this is mountainous and you know of course the the source of the the river always usually always comes from the mountains the only the only link i could really is a bit of a flimsy link but um was you know i mean if you go to colorado aspen and aswan sound very similar and that's the only that's really the only link i could come up with was aswan and aspen aspen um you know and that's where you're stuck you know in the in the ass pen <laughs> in the ass pen the pet you penned up in the ass of of the mother um aswan you've become as one with them with the mother which is not really what what we want to do we really want to stand um as one alone uh, independent from the mother and not be as one with the mother oh my goodness so you see how these just i mean you can see how these um things can be you can if you want to tell a story you can use nearly all these sort of references one way or the other um anyway i don't know what else to say about that so anyway oh i'll tell you what else i want to show you i thought this was interesting as well because if we jump back to this image here right of the of the clock tower or the courthouse or whatever you want to call it um we're in the sort of utopian future here everything's pretty clean and it looks pretty nice actually um, you know you know we've got female cops surely that's got to be better than um, psychopathic guys <laughs> you know what we've got now um, so we've got this so I mean the hint there is that the, the future has become more balanced yeah we we've got um we've come more in line with our feminine side right whatever what's interesting about this courthouse is i don't know if you noticed but it's actually brick um underneath what was originally like a gray parge that they had on there um and i i guess a lot of old buildings are that way um they'd have a coating of, of cement put over the top of that a bit like stucco um, and that's been removed 
yeah so it's gone from like the gray moon um to a more balanced moon a blood moon here okay so i just wanted to point that reference out because we've got the copper color of the of the brick now showing through what we've also got i just just look at the front of this thing right now look at the front i can't remember which one it was on um i think it was this one now look at the front of the kroger building in memphis i mean <laughs> i don't know if other people see that link there look at the shape of this right look at the glass in here i mean that was what i saw initially that was my like wow you know that to me looks like something there you know i know a lot of people would say dan you're stretching it again but for me i don't know what else to say about that you know it speaks for itself i think so we've got that reference to the clock tower anyway what else have we got on here I thought this was interesting, this guy that stood on top of the building, <laughs> he's got his arms up like this, and as soon as I saw this, I'm like, you know what that reminds me of? It reminds me of <laughs> Goldeneye, yeah, James Bond jumping off the, I can't remember what dam it is, but he's jumping off a dam, yeah, in this, in this clip, um, let me show you a better shot of it. There he is, he's right up here, ready to jump. But that just reminded me of that, you know, I was like, oh, you know, just as he's putting his, I don't actually think you see his, put his hands up, but he's just, just as he goes to jump, yeah, he's got his arms up like that, that dude. Um, the dude on the top of the, which would be a reference to the dude on the top of the, the dam. I think his, what was his name? Barlow, Barlow, I don't know, got a, a reference to the bar and going, going low, I don't know, um, what else did I want to talk about, I, sorry, I sound a bit, I'm just tired, this is sounding a bit lame, um, so the whole thing with the Kroger, the Kroger link, the Kroger links to Toys R Us, alright, Kroger were going to, I guess, use some of Toys R Us's branding. Jeffrey's Toy Box is what they were going to use um, in their stores. That was back in 2018. And so that just links into Toys R Us. And this character, uh, Charles Philip Lazarus. And we've got the, the October the 4th, which we could construe as 8-4, um, which is... A number that Jurassic Lies always goes on about for old um, Trump getting his shot to the head. Um, and then, of course, we've got March 22nd here. So the 322 pops up again. Um, and we're back to Kroger, um, Colorado now, you know, King Super. Um, but anyway, so we've got this this character. Um, some interesting dates with him. The whole idea of resurrection. Toys R Us is obviously a play on this name as well. So, you know, all links to resurrection. And Toys R Us now are again going to be, or attempt to be re-resurrected. Re I was wa I watched a little CNN clip. And, I mean, they couldn't have mentioned resurrection any more times. And they were also talking about some other companies that were what they called um, zombie companies, you know, they were in the land of the dead, you know, and they kept referring to, you know, this dead company being resurrected. Um, I mean, you just couldn't have said it any more times in a in a in an article. But anyway, that's what's going on right now. Macy's, the Macy again, is resurrecting Lazarus or Toys R Us. Um, you know, back into life. So, I mean, it all just ties back together with Kroger and the rest of it, you know. So I don't know, you know, I don't know what else to say about it, really. Um, the one old gal that was killed, um, Olivia, 
Olivia King. O Liv King. Um, it's just a it's just a call to the resurrection of the king again, which is the resurrection of the king again is you and I coming out of out of the matrix from behind the dam, coming out of the dam. Yeah, the mother is the dam coming out of that thing and becoming independent again. Because when you're independent, you're not dependent on the on the system. And when you're not dependent on the system, you don't carry out the bidding of the system. Yeah? It's so easy to fall into that. You see it even even in even in um even in just the glares you get from people that are that are carrying on the narrative of the system, you know, they look at you, you haven't got a mask on, you know, staring at you, you know, the you know, and it's 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 that whole thing, yeah? It's that whole doing the bidding of the system. The junkie will always try to feed his addiction. And if that means doing something wrong, um like feeding the system, um, you know, that's what happens. Anyway, I'm waffling. I don't know if there was anything else I wanted to put on here in this video. Um, I just thought it was interesting. I mean, the one gal that's killed, Olivia King, Olive King, um, and of course the olive branch. <laughs> was, was the olive branch... Uh, the end of the a symbol of the end of the inundation. Inund inundation. I don't know if I'm saying that right. And that's all to do with this thing, yeah. The season right now of Akat in Egypt, and um, <laughs> interestingly enough, um, this month. That coincides with these dates um, for the IPET or OPET ritual, um, also known as Baba, or you know, I mean, you know, are we going to baby here? Um, POP, and that kind of reminds me of that other story that's in the um, what's her name, Gabby? Um, oh, it's like Pep something or other. Like or Petito, it's Gabby Petito, isn't it? It's that story that's in the in the news right now. I suppose I should look into it a little bit, but I can't be bothered. Gabby Petito, let's just change some of them letters around, and you've got small baby, yeah, the Baba, the small baby that's going to be born here shortly. Um, I don't know. What's the chances of they actually find her alive and well? <laughs> you know. Stranger things, stranger things, and of course, his name is Bri Brian Laundry, yeah. And what is the lawn, the, the uh, lawn, or the laundry, or the lawn? I don't know how to say it. It comes from Laurel, yeah. That's where that name comes from. And Laurel again, the double cross of Lorraine, yeah. That's the names in that story. I, I mean, I probably should do another video on that. You know, that's the reason why that thing's in the news now. I've seen it a few times. I've clicked on it. I clicked on it once. I, I, I couldn't be bothered with it. So, um, I got the gist of she went missing and they're looking for him. And that's all I've got on that. But feel free to drop some stuff in the um, comments about that if you want but anyway I mean I don't think there's anything else to cover on this that's it basically hopefully I can get this up pretty soon um, but this is what we've got we've got the you know we've got this reference to back to Egypt um, back to the Nile back to the flood the inundation I mean it's all the same stuff this is, you know, this is when, you know, when that flood comes through, 
as in Noah's time. This is when the earth is cleaned, is cleansed. This is all the references to the to the cleaners that are in certain um, other videos that I talk about. You know, the cleaner, yeah? It's the cleansing of the earth again. This is what's going to go, this is what's happening now. This is what I think is happening and of course I, th I think there's some some bad people out there that try to use this what they know is going on and is going to happen they try to use it to their advantage and they always try to spin the the lie over the top of the truth and so that's what you see a lot of people focusing in on is the lie they get caught up in that lie and it, it just breeds more and more fear when I mean if you're right with God and you're living naturally and you're trying to live naturally and you're trying to do what's right you've got nothing to fear <laughs> it's as simple as that yeah the meek shall inherit the earth um, and God works in mysterious ways so I put it this way I am not too worried about certain events that might happen in the future I mean all hell could break loose and I'm not really too worried about it but that's just my point of view anyway hope you enjoyed and I think that's it really I don't I mean I don't think I mean to recap on any of this um, yeah I hope you enjoyed and I'll catch you on the next one cheers all right bye